one with her babies. We've got to try and get past now with dogs we are. Right, we're trying to attack her. We have to go back around the other way again. I reckon. Oh, so pretty. She's being brave having them out on the grass with dogs around. She's cleaning herself. Brought Louis with us to the park today. He's not been to this park. Well, he actually has been to this park before. Uh, a couple of years ago. But he's heading straight for Body Road. This is typically stupid. Louis, what are you doing? Oh, can't run, you dickhead. No, you can't go that way. This way. That way. Louis. Go that way. Storm. Oh, Storm. You fucking come that way now. Louis. Go that way. Afternoon, everyone. So, I've been to Marley today with uh, my friend Cathy. I've bought myself a new coat and some joggers, seeing as it's so freezing, and uh, a t shirt. And I brought the dogs some new teddies. And we've stopped off at East Arsley on the way back to see if I can find wound walk. But I'm not finding any. To be honest, I've not ever found any on this part anyway, but I usually get my turkey tail down here. But it's all. All been overgrown. So, would have filmed further down, but Jesus, these fucking dogs, man. Every time a dog goes past, they just they nearly pull me over. And then the horse came past, I had a stroke of the horse. <laughs> yeah. But over that side, I know I've shown you before, but there was a tree that I used to meditate on. Can't see it now. But, yeah. Bloody love these woods. And then at the end of this is the RSPCA that I used to volunteer at when it first opened, just before I went to Cyprus. So, come on. Yeah, it's a bit wider on here on this bit, so at least I can see if any dogs are coming, hopefully. Okay. Beautiful woods. I can't believe how overgrown it is. I guess nobody actually goes down that side anymore. See, I created pathways everywhere down here and there's, they're all grown over now. That's been seven years, like. <laughs> Baby bee. Yeah, this bit here. We used to walk all the way back through there and come out this way. But obviously nobody's used this path for a long time because there's... Uh, brambles growing right across it. Yeah, we used to better walk where well, that silver birch is there, right down that tree line. So we'd go in at the bottom end and come out this end, and then we'd go up there. Oh, there's kids coming down, so I can't film it because it's kids. <laughs> trees come down. So this is the other part of the woods. I'm not joking, my arms are killing me. Four dogs now, I've had to pull them off at side and they just go ballistic. The storm's so strong, man. Well, I've walked all the way around these woods. I've not seen one butterfly and I've seen one bee, but not one butterfly. And usually it would be full down here. There's nothing. I thought that was what I was looking for, but it's not. I ain't got energy to go down to the other half now. I should get some, but yes, this is where we used to walk all the times. I wanted to show you the little seed thing is, but I can't find any with both. 
So the female nettle seeds, which are really the ones you want, I think you can eat both anyway, but the female ones in about July get really thick with the seeds and the, it's the best time to pick them, especially if you want to make flour and stuff with them. But you can add them into your salads and stuff like that as well. Uh, oh, ladybird. Ladybird. So these ones are male. These. Let me look, they're stuck out proud. <laughs> proud like a male. I'm trying to find you some female ones. But uh, the female ones, the better ones to pick for making flour with at least. Because they, like I said, get full with their seeds in sort of July. So, these ones are female, so these ones are droopy. Can you see them? These are droopy. These are droopy. And they're stood out. And they're full of seeds as well, but the droopy ones are the female ones. And the standy out ones are male. For obvious reasons. <laughs> Come on, give me up for any more dogs come because I can't cope with you. My legs are caning now, you monkeys. Oh, look at the robin. Hello, robin. Oh, I didn't catch it. Right, Storm, come here, you're all tangled. Can't stay tangled. At the top there, there's another walk, but I don't know if I'm going to do that now. I don't know if I'd get up that hill, to be honest. But, uh, steady, don't pull me, Louie. I've got wrong bloody shoes on it, I've got to change my boots. <laughs> I'm slippy. Can't find any wound wart on this bit. You'd think I'd find it on here. It was all sticky willy at nettles and they always kind of grow together. But I can't find any. Can't you find any? There's lots of broadleaf plantain there. Which I do need to gather some more plantain. Oh, I didn't realise we're walking through mud. Come on. You know, plantain's good for bee stings and insect bites and the cat kind of stuff. Oh, it's a shame I can't get to them. Look at the conks. Come here. Can you see it? Another one up there, somewhere, there. That one's right ready for picking, is that one? Good afternoon everyone. So it's Tuesday, wash day, and I've come to Alan Sarah's and the garden's a mess. So I've started strimming it all down. <laughs> but I'm knackered now, my fingers are moving. What are you doing? These digging holes. Are you helping with garden? Are you? All right then. And let me show you my flowers that are coming up. So these are my calendula. Bees are gonna love these when they're fully open. And this is me uh, mulling. Oh, look a bee. Hello bee. I need more of you guys. So this is my mullein that I dug up and planted it in here. And this is flowering, so it must be in its second year because I don't flower till the second year. And that's the this one here. There's the hedge wound wart that I picked the other day. Well, there's two of them, but I don't think other ones gonna make it to be honest. And there's, uh, yeah. So we've got one, two, three, four. There's a little baby one here. Four survived out of the. 20 or so that I planted. Gobby! What have you been Gobby for? Has he got your ball? That's why. Storm's got his ball. What you got, Stormy? I'd like you to play. Oh, I'm going to get knocked over now. Hang on. Shut up, Gobby. So yeah, it all needs drying out. And all these that were all flattened down, right, dogs. She just rakes it all. It's like, oh. 
So ah. it only is ah. drying out a bit and doing over again because ah. it's wet. Louis, shut up, Gobby. Quite close, really. Thunderstorm, just missed it. That cloud didn't even look heavy enough to have thunder and lightning, did it? It looked like it, <laughs> it was just going to pass over in a minute. It did, actually, yeah. Well, it did, but sat kind of spread. <laughs> <laughs> we had blue skies and sunshine ten minutes ago. Come on. Hey. <laughs> oh, and here comes the rain. No, I thought that was rain then. Come on, do it again. That's a car. <laughs> hey. That's a car. <laughs> That's a car. <laughs> Stop doing it! Do it! <laughs> yep. There you go. Hey, what lightning? Well, you get that playing soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That one is loud, that one. It's moving away. Yeah, it sounds like it. I'm fierce, though, isn't it? Oh, shit, all the dogs are going now. I mind barking. Can you see arse in clouds there? Can you see arse in clouds over there, look? Oh, yeah. It's Dakota. She's rolling in. That's the roofs are banging. Cool, yeah. I'm always seeing shit in clouds. <laughs> Mm. That lightning came over there behind that tree a minute ago. Oh, yeah, not what's happening now, is it? Oh, I can hear it sound at dry. Oh, it's here now. It's up here now. It is. Morning, guys. Hope everyone's okay and well. It's. Wednesday, happy hump day, and uh, just come to bring Storm out for a quick walk because my friend Kath's coming with her dog and we're going to go down the other route that we found near the cemetery. This is the other walk near the cemetery. But, um, it's a bit steep from the way. So... I'm just bringing him out to do his ablutions and then we'll pick you up later on maybe down the other walk that you've seen a million times now <laughs> but hopefully Sunday I'm going back down to Loughborough get the rest of my van fixed fingers crossed he gets it all done this time because I really can't afford diesel to be going back and forth so and then that's done. And then fingers crossed, I'm going to Scotland. <gasps> Try not to make plans too much or get too excited because it always gets freaking ruined. But I don't know where he's gone. He's gone through there somewhere. He's gone through there somewhere. Can you hear him? That's where we've just walked up. <sighs> Heaven. No human sound apart from my own. Have you done the poop? Good lad. Come on then this way. Come on, we're gonna go again in a minute. Stormy. This is we. <laughs> he says, but you've only just brought me out. <laughs> well, it looks like it's gonna be a nice day, guys. Although we've got Plenty of chemtrails in the nice blue sky. Oops. It was gorgeous yesterday. I helped my friend do a garden, which you'll have seen. And, uh, oh my God, we were boiling. It was lovely. And then, all of a sudden, 
we had thunderstorms as you've seen and then not long after that torrential rain which lasted all night tried to get in the rain on the, on the video but it won't pick it up my elderberries flowers have now turned to berries where's it going I can't see it can't see it in camera I wouldn't see that one blackberries everywhere I still can't find a wedge wound well, I think I, I thought I might have found some down here but, nope it's just not happening lots of nettles and nettle seeds though look at that old but I've got a busy next couple of days as well I've got a meeting tomorrow with a housing liaison officer about what type of accommodation they can put me in. <laughs> Mental Institute might be one of them. And on Friday I've got an appointment with the doctors. And... Saturday... I don't know what I'm doing Saturday. Saturday I'll probably be prepping for leaving Sunday, getting diesel, make sure I've got enough food in, make sure I've got enough water, all that kind of stuff. So. And uh, and then Sunday I'm off. I was going to go up to the house on Saturday, but my friend Elle's not been too well, so I think I'll leave it. Mm. Anybody else woke up with a really bad headache this morning? We're coming up to full moon, aren't we? Strawberry moon this month. Um... I think it's, it's a, I think it's a super moon as well. I'm not sure. There's something going on with it anyway, but the energies are oof, static. My ears are just buzzing. I've been buzzing for a few months now, but it just seems to have sped up again. So there's something happening in the ether. Oh, God, I love it down here. Just a shame this park up so cranky. I feel better once my handbrake's done light, but I'll leave it in reverse and put my handbrake up as far as it'll go. Got all that other flower there, I can't get to it without all metals. But the birds will. Oh, I was saying to you the other day about um, male and female seeds. These are definitely female. See how they're hanging down? And... Uh, Seed pods. Where's my hand? I can't see the seed pods. They're almost ready. So you can eat these as they are. Mm. I love them. They taste a bit nutty. Oh, oh my god. What were I just saying? I can't find any, and they should have some here. And I found some. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is hedge wound wart. I know I've showed you it before. Oh my, I'm so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's only a bit, but I'm going to take this. I'm not taking it all. So I've found some. That means there's more somewhere. This will just about make one pot. I get the flowers and I make it into a salve, which is absolutely amazing for cuts, deep cuts especially. And it heals them really quickly and takes out the pain. It's brilliant stuff. Oh, I'm so happy I found some. I want to find some more. I've left some flowers on. It should re-flower that one. It's, it's still just uh, oh, there's some more here. Look, <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't want to take it all, but it's quite abundant, so I'll leave them at the back. There's some at the back there. Oh, there's loads at the back there. Look at that. Oh, mate, I can't even reach it all. 
Oh, good on you for growing through. Because it, it doesn't seem to like lots of overgrowth. I'll get some of this one. I'll leave them big ones because I can't get to them. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've been so upset that I've not been able to find any. And uh, a nice little handful. Come on, you. And I've bought some uh, freaking expensive, but I bought some shea butter for anybody who's vegan who don't want to. Oh, there's freaking loads of it. Oh my god, you don't even have to worry about over picking here. Wow. They're not quite ready yet. I'll leave them a bit. Oh man, there's loads. I didn't even see it going up. These are not quite ready because they're not in the sun. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Brilliant. I don't know what I'm saying here. <laughs> oh yeah, I bought some shea butter. For anybody who's vegan who would like to try my products but doesn't want the beeswax, I bought shea butter. Not used shea butter before. So this will be interesting. Yeah, so if anybody wants anything making out of any of my salves, I do loads of different salves, by the way. Ones for eczema and extra dry skin. and uh, I've got one on the make for hemorrhoids, which I need to make. So if anybody needs anything, let me know. And I shall make it with the shea butter, if you prefer. <laughs> <laughs>